So hey everyone, welcome to CoreVet. So today in this particular video lecture, we will be discussing about the brachial plexus. Okay, so if we'll just talk about what the brachial plexus is. Okay, so we just first know that what a plexus is. See, a plexus is nothing but a, a network, a network of nerve. Okay, it is a network of nerve through which several branches of the nerves will be going to diverge in order to supply a certain region, muscles, skin of a body. Okay, so that's what a plexus is. It is in what a cluster or a network of nerve. Okay, so it is clear that what a plexus is. Okay, it is what a plexus. Correct. So a brachial plexus. So brachial plexus is also in what a network of nerve. Okay, so a network of nerve which is formed by what? It is formed by sixth, seventh, and eighth cervical spinal nerve and the first and the thoracic second thoracic spinal nerve okay so it is what a cluster of nerve which is formed by what six seventh and eighth cervical spinal nerve and first and second thoracic spinal nerve okay so if i'll just talk about the location how where it is located where the brachial plexus is located it is located cranial to the first rib and it is present in between the two muscles it is present in between the two muscles which is the longus coli and the sclenius muscle now every plexus have a purpose okay so what is the purpose of this particular brachial plexus is so what is the purpose so we'll just talk about the purpose of this particular plexus. So the purpose is what? It will just innervate the muscles and the skin of the thoracic limb means the forelimb. Okay. So the forelimb of the animal will be going to supplied by what? The muscles that are there in the forelimb through which the animal can be voluntary walking. Okay. So the animal will walk voluntary. Okay. Based on the skeletal muscle which is supplied by what? These nerves. Correct. And those nerves are diverging from what? Those nerves are going to be diverging from the brachial plexus. Correct. So these brachial plexus will be going to innervate the muscle and the skin of the thoracic limb as well as the muscles that are present in the shoulder girdle and the lateral wall of the thorax and the abdomen okay so this is what the purpose of this particular plexus or the network of nerve is okay now we are going to just study that which are the several branches which are going to be diverging or formed from the brachial plexus correct so if we'll just talk about the very first which is the external thoracic which is the external thoracic nerve okay so it will just talk about the external thoracic nerve so it is formed by what it is formed by the eighth cervical first thoracic and second thoracic spinal nerve okay so this is what the composition of the external thoracic nerve is okay if we talk about the course see the course of a nerve is important so it will just talk about the course so it will just descend downwards into the deeper fossa of the long head of the triceps okay so we know that there are several heads of the triceps so in between that this particular external thoracic will be going to descend downwards into the limb and it will follow the course in between the deeper fossa of the long head of the triceps and then it will do what it will just give branches to the deep pectoral muscle and the cutaneous muscle and will be going to terminate in the skin of the abdominal wall correct now we'll be just talking about the second which is the thoracodorsal nerve okay so i will just talk about the thoracodorsal nerve it is comprising or it is formed by what the eighth cervical spinal nerve and the first thoracic spinal nerve okay now i will just talk about the innervation or the supply so it will be going to supply what it will be going to supply the latissimus dorsi muscle okay so i will just talk about the third one which is the long thoracic nerve okay so this particular long thoracic nerve is formed by what seventh and the eighth cervical spinal nerve and it will going to supply the serratus ventralis muscle okay so the serratus ventralis muscle is supplied by what the long thoracic nerve now it is an important nerve that is going we are going to about to discuss which is the axillary or you can say the circumflex nerve okay so this nerve is formed from all the cervical nerves means all the cervical nerves that are involved in the brachial plexus which is the sixth seventh and the eighth cervical spinal nerve which will be going to form what the axillary nerve okay so the axillary nerve is formed from what all the cervical spinal nerves that are involved in what that are involved in the brachial plexus correct now i will just talk about the course so this particular nerve will be going to descend downward okay near the shoulder joint the shoulder joint which is formed by the scapula and the humerus okay so it will be just going to descend downwards and will reach the deeper fossa of the okay it will reach the deeper face of the deltoideus muscle correct and then it will just innervate and supply the what teres muscles which is the teres minor and the teres major as well as the deltoideus muscle now what will happen this particular axillary nerve will be going to diverge diverge to form two branches which is the dorsal and the ventral branches of the axillary nerve okay so we will just talk about the course of the dorsal branch then it will be going to pass under the acromion part of the deltoideus muscle okay and then ending at the terminal part of the brachiocephalicus muscle correct 
this was about the course of the dorsal branch of what of the axillary nerve which is formed from the sixth seventh and the eighth cervical nerve okay now i will just talk about the ventral branch so what happened it will just pass under the scapular head of the deltoideus and then it will pass over the lateral head of the triceps see i had told you you should be good at the myology in order to know what are the parts of a particular muscle likewise the triceps has the lateral head long head okay so you should be clear with the heads okay so then what will it will be having it will be just passing over the lateral head of the triceps and will descend and continue as the anterior or you can see the dorsal cutaneous nerve of the forearm correct now i will just talk about what we'll just talk about the fifth which is the suprascapular nerve okay so the suprascapular nerve is formed from what sixth and the seventh cervical spinal nerve okay so an uh, important point to note over here is this point that it is the most anterior of all the nerves that are going to be arising from the brachial plexus see if we'll just see that if this is the brachial plexus so it is the most anterior so this particular suprascapular nerve will be the most anterior to the plexus means all the nerves are going to be innervating before or originating before okay this particular suprascapular nerve okay it is the most anterior to the all the nerves that are arising from the brachial plexus so this is an important point that which particular nerve is the most anterior to all the nerves that are arising to the brachial plexus correct now what is the purpose it will be going to supply the supraspinatus infraspinatus and the teres minor muscle okay now we will be just talking about the musculocutaneous nerve so this particular nerve is formed from what it is formed from seventh and the eighth cervical spinal nerve correct now i will just talk about the course so it will just be going to arise from the anterior part of the brachial plexus close behind to the suprascapular i had told you that suprascapular is the most anterior one okay and this particular nerve which is the muscular cutaneous nerve will be what arising close behind to the that suprascapular nerve okay now what will be going to happen that it will descend down to the medial face of the shoulder joint means the joint that has been formed from the scapula and the humerus okay it will be just descending downwards to the limb okay at the medial face means close to the middle line of the body correct now what will happen it will join the median nerve i'll just discuss the median nerve okay it will just join what the median nerve which is also a branch of the brachial plexus only okay so the medial nerve is only a branch of the brachial plexus that i'll discuss later on okay so what will be going to happen that this particular musculocutaneous nerve will be going to join what the median nerve okay by a short branch to form a loop okay through which the brachial artery passes not the brachial nerve it is the brachial artery note the point so let me just tell you once see what i am saying that this is the musculocutaneous nerve this is the musculocutaneous nerve and this is what the median nerve okay median nerve okay so below the shoulder joint okay below the shoulder joint okay this particular musculocutaneous nerve will be going to give a branch okay to what to the median nerve to form a loop okay and through which this loop an artery passes which is the brachial artery if you don't know about the brachial artery i'll just recommend you to just watch the video that i had told you to the blood supply to the forelimb that is there in my channel itself you can just visit it once to know about the arteries also so the brachial artery is going to pass through the loop that has been formed from the branch that the musculocutaneous nerve has given to the median nerve okay i hope this particular thing is clear to you okay now it will just further descend okay downwards and just innervate to the coracobrachialis muscle and the biceps brachialis muscle. okay so let me just discuss about the nerve to the pectoral okay which is the seventh nerve that is going to be arising from the brachial plexus okay after arising it is it is it is also going to arise from the anterior part okay of the brachial plexus and then it will just supply to the deep pectoral superficial pectoral and the brachiocephalicus muscle correct now there is an also a nerve which is what nerve to the subscapularis muscle okay so it is formed from what seventh and the eighth cervical spinal nerve and it will be going to supply what the subscapularis muscle okay so the ninth one which is the nerve to the teres major which is formed from what seventh and the eighth cervical spinal nerve and it will supply what subscapularis muscle and the teres major muscle so this was all about this particular lecture okay i'll just continue this particular video with the radial median and the your ulnar nerve because those three are quite important okay that i'll be taking in the second part of this video okay so it will be just continuing until then thanks everyone okay have a good day